Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 9th of February and this week we've got the Farmlands Challenge. Uh, one of my personal favourites, although probably not going to enjoy it as much this week. Um, what with the star hero being Abraham Ford um, and rather than having charged assaults, we have charged non-heroes. Um, so not not a great combination. Um, quite a few of these maps work really well with melee and threat reduction so uh having uh a ranged hero isn't charged isn't the best best one for it um but without further ado let's uh move on to the maps so first one we got is uh porch swing uh it's get to exit uh you've got quite a few walkers that start in the middle of the map uh not usually like this you could normally see a few more You've also got one tank that starts on the map, and then after the first turn, a second tank will spawn on the finish line. Um, they start in wandering state, and uh, you've just got to get to the exit. So you can either kill everything um, and keep the threat down and get to the exit, or you can charge it with some bruisers, taking the hits, um, and get to the exit that way using a med kit, obviously. That only really works at lower level. Um, if anyone saw my video last week for Slam Dunk, that could probably work again this week. Um, just bunch them up and blow them up with Shane. Uh, it does get it's a little bit trickier because of the uh, delayed spawn of the second tank. Or you can use uh, Smy and just power your way through. If you do have an incoming, they come in at the top uh, between the haystacks and the bottom left. So a little bit spread out, which is a bit annoying. Um, but yeah, that's uh, it's one of my preferred maps until it gets ridiculously high level and just takes ages. Um, but not too bad a one. Uh, next map is Hammer and Saw. I want to say Hammer and Saw. Uh, start in this little little area here. You got a tank wandering at the top of the map. Sometimes you can't see it, but it is always up there. And quite a few walkers to the right. If you can keep the threat down and get them coming at you one at a time, killing them or stunning them, uh, that works really well. Uh, the incoming uh comes in down at the bottom uh, along that line, and some at the top right uh you got to get the three boxes and once you open the last box a goo walker spawns on the line uh in one of the bottom two spaces on the line so if you what you need to do is make sure that you've got two survivors there spawn blocking it before you open the last box um and then it's you can just get to the exit then it won't spawn um really good tip for this and you'll probably see it on quite a few chats if you're in any but yeah, the spawn block at the end, uh, the bottom two points on the line before opening the last box. Other than that, um, yeah, I've always played it with a, a threat reduction bruiser, stunner, um, and uh, just get them coming at you one at a time using this choke point. Um, possibly the Harachi might be quite good. Um, if you can get the tank on fire and then build a a two a, a wall uh, in that choke point until it burns out, um, causing threat does cause it to get quite congested, quite congested, quite quickly. Um, so Mercer's probably going to be your best bet if you're trying to uh, use an assault to get through it. Um, but yeah, I'll use a couple of teams on that, but it's not a very nice one, particularly at high level. Uh, next one we've got is Overgrown. A couple of walkers, a blind corner around the uh, the tank, uh, the tank tractor, and one goo walker start on this one. Uh, you got incoming. It's quite nice, uh, a bit of space so you can prowl and keep the threat down if you want. Um, careful of that goo walker. He he does he starts wandering and he can wander away or wander towards you. So it is possible to avoid him, but not easy. Um, I 
used to keep the fret down on this one um, and get to the exit, make it quite easy. When you do get to the gate, uh, it's two turns on the gate, and as soon as you start working on it, because it's flashing red, uh, you get a spawn. So the, uh, you'll get another goo walker spawn, as you can see here by the tractor, um, and it starts off as aggressive. If you have your two survivors uh, who aren't on the gate up in this spot, it will walk diagonally up towards them. And this stone is a hard corner, so it will never be able to reach you as long as it goes up that way first. Um, what will happen on the next turn, um, when there's one turn left on the gate, is uh, two more walkers will spawn down by this uh, hay, these haystacks. Sometimes they'll spawn next to each other, which is nice if you've got a bruiser or someone who can stun. Sometimes they'll come out um, with a, a gap between them, which is more annoying. Uh, but yeah, just make sure you've got someone charged who will be able to control that in, that auto spawn um, to give you time to get to the gate. If you've got beta, you can usually herd one, if not both of them, um, or stun them. Next map is Strawman, which is probably the hardest map on the set. Well, I've always found it one of the hardest. It might not be too bad now with Mercer. But what you got is uh, lots of walkers all around you, usually a couple within striking distance straight off the bat. Um, and you've got two tough tanks on here. Um, you can't see them on this screenshot, sorry about that. But there's one to the top left and one to the right, usually. You gotta kill both of those as soon as they're dead. Uh, at the end of the turn, they die. You'll um, you'll finish the map. A couple of ways you can play it. Uh, early on, you can play aggressive and just go and kill them as quickly as possible. Uh, later on, you can either go left or right and create a sort of stun wall in either of those positions. Incoming comes in along the bottom row, on the right hand side and the left hand side. You can spawn block um, on the right hand side, you'll need to if you're using that as a uh, a place to build a stun wall. You want to get the tank's attention, um, both of them, if you're doing that so they come at you, so you can burn them down quickly. Um, on the left hand side, the fence here is a hard corner, so if you have three people stood in a line just to the left of where these two walkers are. Anything above that fence line will wander off, um, which is quite can be quite handy, but be careful because the incoming will spawn behind you. So you've got to make sure you're spawn blocking on the left there as well. I'll show you, I'll try and show you both left and right techniques. Um, but as I say, it's not my favorite map and I'm just gonna be happy to get through it. Vermin control is the next one, killer walkers. Lots of blind corners around the uh, hay, uh, hay piles, uh, haystacks. Uh, one goo walker and two tanks and several normal walkers on here. Usually ranged, camp at the start, winter harpoon, um, cripple gun. Should keep you pretty safe. Um, can be an issue if both the tanks and the goo come at you. From different directions and sort of pinch you. Um, it's not too bad a map to be honest, and Mercer is going to make it a lot easier um, if you are able to use him. I'm not really worried about Star Hero this week. He's it's not going to help me much at all, so I doubt I'll use him very much um, and stop using him quite early. I imagine, but uh, yeah, it's going to be tricky. Um, might be quite a good map for bulldozer though to keep those tanks some fatties away. But um, I'll I'll show a few different teams and weapons on this one. And lastly, we have needles and haystacks. Um, find three out of five boxes and get back to the exit. Blind corner to start with in this middle section, so you're going to want to move round and be careful when you do because there's usually two or three walkers around there. Um, always been a great one for threat reduction. Keeping the threat down makes it relatively easy. There's a fair bit of space to prowl, particularly at the top 
of the map. Um, one tip I would give you on this is to start on the far right boxes. Um, open the far right boxes first, because what happened when you open the last box, uh, the turn after you open the last box, you'll get three spawn on the line. So what you really kind of hoping for is to be able to open the top left box last um, and have two people already on the line, um, preferably charged, or use Pizza Glen to open it and be able to get to the line on the same turn. Uh, but it definitely... Um, oh, and because once you've opened all the boxes, you get auto spawns on the right-hand side as well. So uh, it can get quite tricky. Spawns come in... Um, when the incoming comes down, where this walker is uh, at the bottom of the map and above, and along the top line as well. Um, and you can spawn block them, but I think they come out elsewhere, so I don't think you can really reduce the amount of walkers that, in that come in, but you can control where they come in slightly. Um, and that's it. Uh, as I say, I, I've always really enjoyed using threat reduction on this. Um, Probably not going to change my technique too much on them uh, this week because of Star Hero. Uh, but good luck everyone, hope you enjoy it, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.